Hey there, everybody. It is right on, right on Wednesday, but it's Thursday because motherhood, because real life, because we write according to what's really happening, right? In my life and work, um, I'm in what I think of as a perpetual sovereignty knot. If you think about a Celtic knot, think about a Trinity knot and the way that they constantly loop around and swirl up and down and there's no ending, there's no beginning. It's just this sense of flow, right? From the top to the bottom, to the side to side, it's life itself as I understand it. And it's definitely life itself as I understand it as a creative, as an entrepreneur, as a woman seeking to understand and tell her own story. And most especially as a mother to two girls under the age of 10. Because my life in many ways is absolutely my own. I am sovereign in my own skin and my own story. And yet, any given night could be disrupted by somebody who has a nightmare and wants to crawl in beside mommy and needs a lot of sips of water. Um, so generally speaking, I do my write on, write on Wednesdays right after the Sovereign Writer Circle meets. But yesterday's Sovereign Writer Circle meeting was interrupted by a call from the preschool because my five-year-old wasn't doing so well. Um, it turns out that it was more that she needed a mental health afternoon. We'd done kindergarten orientation in the morning. And then I rushed her right over to back to preschool so I could get on the call with my writers. And so I could just continue on with my typical Wednesday plans. I don't have time to think about kindergarten. That's so September. I'll give you an hour and a half, kiddo, and then get back to work. Get back to your work of being a preschooler. Or I'll get back to my work of being um, the woman at the computer who's helping to lead, lead the writing group. Um, that wasn't how yesterday panned out. It turned out that my little one was not sick. There was no real tummy ache going on. There was probably a hell of a lot of overwhelm of the fact that she was all of a sudden thrown into the school with the big kids and got to ride on a school bus and was separated from mommy for an hour um, in this totally new world. But meanwhile, she's not gonna go back there until September. It's kind of crazy for a five-year-old mind. Um, I don't think five-year-olds need orientation. I think that they need to just be guided lovingly into each stage. I bet there's a bigger metaphor for all of us here in terms of how we look at and hold our stories and our experiences. The one that I'm gonna go with here right now is what I am in the process of learning in my own writing life and in my life as a mom and an, a business owner um, is that sense of noticing with compassion all the different pieces of the story. You know, I, I can admit at this point, I barely remember what we wrote about yesterday in the writer's group because it's I write those prompts for, for everybody and then they kind of just, I write into them myself and then they move from my mind because I move on to the next thing that I'm writing on or they get integrated into my work, right? So um, yesterday we wrote about our relationship with money and our relationship with um persuasion and, and inviting people to do things or just convincing ourselves to do things when we were trying to meet our inner resistance. And I think those were really juicy topics got interrupted because I had to go off and um, do something that seems to have absolutely nothing to do with money. Um, and I wasn't persuading my little one to do anything other than picking her up off the floor and putting her in her car seat and setting her at home to watch some cartoons, right? Um, but now I sit here and I realize that everything, it all, you know, my motherhood journey is, is everything in my, in my writing life. And it's going to affect me from now until the day I die because it's changed who I am. And so whether you're a mom, whether you're, you have children at all, whether, you know, you care for and nurture um, with, with the animals in your life or with the garden that you tend and cultivate, there are things that have changed you irreparably and beautifully. There are things that 
you might not necessarily realize are always essential to your identity as a creative and as a professional because they're somewhat, they seem sort of like they're on the other side of things. Um, they seem like they're separate. There's no such thing as separation. We are in this fully as mothers, as creatives, as people who care for things in this world, I invite you to show up to the page with all of yourself. And I invite you to forgive yourself when you can't show up for whatever reason, because something else got in the way. So this concludes today's Right On, Right On Wednesdays, which happened to happen on a Thursday, because I want to invite you to embrace the disruption, to be kind to yourself and then to get back to the page and keep writing. And I wanna let you know that I've just decided to roll out a new uh, weekly feature. I'm planning on sending it out every Friday to my newsletter list, to my email list. Um, and it's I'm calling it What Got Written This Week, W-G-W-T-W, -W, right? Well, I'll learn that acronym. I wanna be accountable to you all for what I've written in any given week to let you know all the hiccups and all the things that got in the way, to let you know when I was in flow and it was amazing with my book or something else I'm working on. I also am gonna be highlighting what the sovereign writers in my group have been working on and my other writing coaching clients because what got written this week is important. It may just be a first draft. It may be something that'll never leave the pages of your journal. It may be working on the book you're gonna push out to the publisher. It may be putting a blog post into the world. What got written this week is important because we honor our, what we accomplish and what we worked on in the midst of these disruptions because it's all real and it all counts. So head on over to my website, marisagowdy.com. There's a handy dandy new little pop-up that will invite you to um, sign up for my newsletter if you haven't before. Because um, I want to let you in on WGWTW, what got written this week. In spite of it all, because of it all, that's where we are. The full catastrophe of all the things. We create space. We create some stillness to put the words on the page. And then we go out and we do what we need to do as parents, as caregivers, as healers, as people who are here to make the world more beautiful, bearable, and bold. Love to all. I will hopefully see you next Wednesday for our typical write on, write on session. Um, and in the meantime, go sign up for what got written this week or keep an eye out for tomorrow's newsletter in your mailbox if you're already on my list. So mwah, see you soon.